Hello aspirants, welcome to Ekamai's Academy. Today we are going to discuss about a recent initiative by ICR, Indian Council for Agriculture Research, that is One Scientist, One Product Initiative. So what is this initiative, why they have launched such initiative and more about ICR we'll going to, we are going to discuss in detail in a short and press week. So first thing here the news is about Indian Council of Agriculture Research which is one of the apex research organization with respect to Ministry of Agriculture has released recently a scheme called One Scientist One Product Initiative. So what is this main initiative aiming about? So first thing we have to understand this is trying to increase the element of innovation in aspect of agriculture as well as animal husbandry. So they wanted to promote more innovation in terms of technology as well as crop variety especially in the sector of agriculture plus animal husbandry that is the main job or the main focus of this particular initiative then second thing is they have even focused on launching new varieties in this initiative they are asking this almost 5000 plus scientists who are associated with ICR to develop either a new variety or a new technical model to have more enhanced production in agriculture as well as enhanced animal husbandry that is the main launch of the crop varieties what the what category of varieties are mainly focusing is primary focus is on oil seeds at the same time pulses so they are focusing on these two things where india if you have remembered india is morely uh, it is more fulfilling its needs based on imports in the categories of oil seeds as well as pulses then another thing you have to keep in mind is what type of varieties they wanted to develop first thing is they wanted to develop certain bio fortified varieties some high yielding varieties at the same time they also wanted to ensure some variety of climate resilient varieties also gets developed. So these are the main important goals in developing new varieties. This is what we have discussed about enhanced crop varieties Okay, in terms of bio fortification, high yield also and also climate resilient varieties, especially in the category of oil seeds and pulses. Right? This scheme is going to be operational for a period of five years. This is one and this was launched on the 96th foundational day of ICR. This is what the main relevance, okay? So, which was established in the year 1929. So, we are going to discuss about ICR now. So, here you have to keep in mind Indian Council of Agriculture Research. This was a pre independent body established in the year itself. We have just now seen 1929. So, you have to keep this thing in mind. 1929 is the year of establishment. Then, this is the apex research body. In terms of agricultural research, that is a main job and it is an autonomous body. Autonomous means, you know, it has certain autonomy, means it can take in decisions independently in terms of its finances, administrative mechanism and all. Under DARE, Department of Agriculture Research and Education, this is under Ministry of Education and Family Welfare, so Farmers Welfare, right? under farmers welfare so this is the organizational setup and then who is going to be the president of ICR whoever the minister of agriculture we have at the central level he is going to serve as the president of this particular institution then another thing you have to keep in mind this is also the world's largest research network center in terms of agriculture and it also has a national agriculture accreditation board so, you know, accreditation is very important because all the agriculture related universities have to be accredited under ICR. So, you almost have 71 plus universities in India. Like, for example, if you have seen in, in Telangana, we have Kaloji Lakshman Rao University and all. So, like this, we have certain things. Okay. So, these agriculture related universities have to be taken care. Then, there is also one, one important aspect that ICR has played in the role of in the times of green revolution so it also have played an important role in enhancing the production in the period of 2017-18 right from 1950 and it is also playing an important role to fulfill SDG 2 which is no poverty at the same time you also have to keep in mind this particular organization is headquartered in New Delhi 
right? So these are certain aspects which you need to know from ICR perspective. If you have remembered in the recent times, there is also one news about ICR because Indian Council of Agriculture Research is not happy with Pakistan developing a GI tagged variety of basmati rice un, uh, unofficially in their own country. With respect to that also ICR is worse in news. So then let us say the practice question for the day. Which of the following programs initiated by ICR to ensure food security and agriculture growth? So among the options, which of the initiative is taken by ICR? Please let us know in the comment section. Then as we have reached end of the video, today we have discussed about what is one scientist and one product initiative of ICR. We have seen the details of that particular initiative for what period it was launched and how they are going to develop new varieties and all. We also have seen what is the specific fact you need to know about ICR, its establishment of year and who is going to preside this. And we also have seen what are the functions of ICR in which particular areas it has a important work to play and all. These are the things which we have discussed as part of today's video. If you found this video informative, please let us know in the comment section. Thanks for joining us. All the very best.